very pained as a governor, extremely pained. And I am telling you, these people have actually hit us at the most, most uh, important part because we have we have been relying on these peace committees to help us get peace. Now, who else? Who else will help us? Who else will help the community? Who will? These are the only guys who are used to who used to call very courageous. Who used to call for peace meetings? Who will now call for these peace meetings? Even if government wants us to talk, we need community owned, community driven. They told us we need community driven. The politician should step back, and then the community can dr drive. Now those who are driving this are now being killed. Now it means they will not spare the governor. They will not spare anybody. They want to kill even the minister. They will not spare. It is unfortunate that we can kill our people, that bandits can roam Kerio Valley and kill people at will, people who are unarmed, people who are going to a peace meeting to recover stolen livestock. It is, it is time that banditry is declared as terrorism. This is an act of terrorism. It is, it is like we are living in Somalia. Patrick, the chairman wa Endo Peace Committee. Na Patrick pia ni social worker wa Justice and Peace ya katika Elore Diocese katika eneo la Kiryovale. Uh, kwa muda mrefu amekuwa akipigania uh, mambo ya amani kwa, kwa muda mrefu sana. Uh, vile vile Suter Joseph ambaye tuna tunamuita Kinyosi kwa luk, kwa, kwa ka, majina yake ya kinyumbani ndiye uh, treasurer wa, wa wa jamii ya Endo Peace Committee. Na wao wote wamekuwa akipigania na wamekuwa akifanya recoveries ya mbuzi na ngombe waliibiwa kule Pokot na huku tena sehemu za Marakwet. Uh, ni tendo ambalo sisi wana jamii ya amani na hata kanisa tuna tunapinga kwa maneno yote masito. Mwanafunzi mwenye ya